Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about visual testing in test sigma. So what do you mean by visual testing? So visual testing means whatever you see in this web page, right? So it has some visibility, like uh, some look and feel of your UI. So if you take this test sigma cloud, it is in some, some green color. Schedule a demo is in different color. And the text is a different font. So in the future, in the future, if something changes, there may be a font change or button change, button color change, button size change. Okay. Then you need to identify those changes. All right. So I the web page is intended like this look and feel. So because of some reasons. Okay. So if something is changes, okay, then we need to identify as a issue in that web page. So if you take uh, traditional testing tools like Selenium or some other tools, then it is a difficult task. But with Test Sigma, it is very simple. Just one checkbox you need to check, then it will take care of this visual testing also. So that kind of beautiful option is available with Test Sigma. So by taking one example, we will see how it will work. So for that, I am taking one uh, dummy web page as an example. You see that? index.html, I have some registration page and I have a registration button, sorry, register button here. Okay, so when I click on this, nothing will happen. Please fill out these fields. So our intention is not to automate all these things. If something goes, uh, changes on this web page, so how Test Sigma will identify, okay? So for that, what we need to do, So first, we'll go to the test case. So I have created one test case called visual testing demo. Okay. In this visual testing demo, I navigated to this web page or whatever you call URL. So then what I'm doing, click on registration button or register button. So I have register button. That's it. Okay. And after that, waiting for five seconds, and I'm closing that. Okay, so first let me execute and see what is happening. Run. So I'm executing my local machine. How to execute in local machine, we already discussed in one of our videos. Please watch that. So click on run now. So now it will open the browser, local browser. You see that it opened, it went there. You see that you are seeing, please fill out this field means this is click after five seconds, it will close. Okay. So it's closed and the test case is passed. Okay. Let the status change. You see that passed. So because of some reasons, because of some reason, this register button got changed. So let me go there. And I have a, so font size is 18 pixels. Let me change it to five pixels. Okay. And go back to your application, just refresh and observe. You see that? register button got changed okay now what i'll do i'll try to execute the script again i will try to execute the script again and see the behavior sorry so let me click on run button Let me remove this. It got recorded accidentally. So I'll click on this run button again and this local machine and then run now. And observe the behavior. Now I changed the font of register button, whether able to click or not. It's clicked because of that fill out this fields came and after five seconds it will close. 
and what is the behavior of your test case? You see that your test case is passed. Okay. So we did not change any locator properties. Okay. I take the uh, I have taken the uh, CSS selector. Okay. So I have taken the CSS selector that is not changed, but the button look and feel got changed. Okay. So then what we can do? We try to do the visual testing for this. I want to verify that this button got changed. Okay. So now what I'll do? I'll go here, go back. So now we need to edit this button. Okay. While recording this step, it is a different. Okay. So enable and click on this more details. You see that we have one checkbox called enable visual testing for this step. So click on this. That's it. Okay. That's it. Update. Now you run this again in the local machine. We will observe that before visual testing checkbox and after visual testing checkbox how the behavior is. So it's still clicking on that. The reason is the CSS is not changed. We just changed the font of that register font. Okay, it's still passed. So now this element has enabled visual testing for this tip is yes. Okay. Now this is yes. So it started watching this register button. Now again, we'll go back. I'll change it to some 18 back. Okay. So I'll change it to 18. And if you refresh, turn it back. But while it is executing, it is considering as this is the actual one. The reason is we started uh, like, you know, watching this. Okay, so we enabled visual testing for this button. So every time this button should be like this only with five, five, five pixel font, but now we change it to 18 pixel. Okay, so before that 18, five, both the times it did not show any differences. The reason is we did not enable any visual testing, but now we enabled visual testing and it started watching this button, how the look and feel of this button. Now it is five pixels when it is, it is started watching now we change it to 18 pixel. So now if you rerun this, run, run now. So test case will execute, no problem. The reason is CSS not changed. We just changed the look and feel of button. So let it close. Now after finishing, we need to identify one thing. Test executed passed. And uh, it will show here. It will show here. You, you see that here after some time. I got this red color button. There are visual differences. Okay. 
for this step you see that it is red color and if you hover on that there are visual differences so when you click on this it will show the difference you see that register and register so because of that uh, it got changed that you know ui got disturbed so because of that in some other places also it is showing but because of this button it started so now if you want to make this as base image you have some diff you have some options here you see that highlight differences you see that it is highlighting the differences where it is hide visual differences if you want to hide if you click on this button it will not show the differences okay and uh, select region to ignore from visual comparison if you for the next time if you don't want to do this okay if you want don't want to do this you can do that also okay and then merge base image into current image you can merge these two things okay? but now what i'll do mark as a base image now the current image is this one actually we are expecting with less font so now what i'll do i'll mark as a base image okay so mark base image is changed so now we'll try to execute again so this time it is it should not change oh, sorry it should not uh, show the difference that visual difference so let me execute again so it executed perfect after 5 seconds it will close so it passed so but you see the difference even though if you have visual differences it will not fail your script that is by what you say like by design they develop but here they will show you if you have any differences for that uh, what is the element if you enabled visual differences okay so previously it is showing some red color camera button as there are some differences now it is not showing but in either conditions test case will pass okay so this is how you can perform visual testing on a particular element if you want to verify if you want to do the same thing for every each and every element that is also possible so you can just enable that button so if you go back you see that now you are not seeing any red color camera icon so if you have any visual differences it will show that here there are a difference okay if you go back and i think if you click select bulk update you see that enable visual testing for all the steps okay you just click on this okay so if you want to perform the same thing for multiple elements so you just click each step and bulk update and click on enable visual testing for this step okay so you see that here there is no differences if you do not have any differences it will show like this if you have any differences there are visual differences it will show like this in the history okay so this is how you can perform visual testing in test sigma with a single checkbox okay that simple it is okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you